I've heard about there being new tiger recruits coming out of basic training, so I figured that our old training video needed a bit of a remake. When it comes to tigers, there are currently two that the German high command fields, that being the Tiger H1 and the Tiger E. The Tiger H1 is the early production model of its successor, the Tiger E. The main differences between the two is that the H1 uses a tall, flat cupola, which does not have a remote controlled MG34, where the E uses a more flat and angled cupola, which does have MG34. There is barely any change in armor between the two. The differences lie in the thickness of the top of the turret and where the spare tracks are kept. The top of the Tiger H1 is 26mm, where the E is 40mm. The E also has spare tracks over its lower glacis. The last difference is in how the tanks deploy smoke. The H1 has six turret-mounted 66mm smoke launchers, which when activated, all are fired off. The E, on the other hand, has six roof-mounted smoke mortars, which the commander can fire off individually. That's the main differences between the two. When it comes to crew layout, both Tigers have the same crew layout, with the commander, gunner, and loader being in the turret, with the driver being seated in the front left of the tank, with the radio operator next to him. When it comes to ammo storage, both tanks have the same layout, with ammo stored in both of the sides, behind the frontal plate, and deep below the turret. Both tanks are equipped with the powerful 88mm KWK-36 gun. The only difference between the two guns is that the Tiger E is able to fire the powerful Panzergranat 40 round, which is a APCR or armor piercing composite rigid shell. This shell is able to penetrate up to 172mm of armor at a distance of 1000 meters, but it lacks post penetrating damage. Yeah, I know. I don't have depression for that. I can take you out though. Yeah, I know. I'm fine. I just need to just- I'll, I'll kill the panther. I have a line shot on him. I have a line shot on him. 